Hey viewers, welcome to another game of Schedule Pro Gamer. Today we're doing a Vayne game, and Vayne is being played by TBR TuneUp, and he is here with um, one of his friends who is playing, I think, the Ramus, yeah, the um, the jungler, and um, yeah, this is a ranked game. I um, am doing a ranked game because, well, over the last week, I think I've, well, I've broadcasted a little bit too many really low-level games, but yeah, since I cannot really see that from the emails, and yeah, I just want to do, uh, to give everyone a chance to get on my channel, but people have been complaining a little bit, so I'm doing a little bit high level, higher level game here. Um, I'm not sure what ELO this is, but yeah, I'm guessing it's still not the super high ELO because, well, apparently none of my viewers are super high <laughs> ELO. So uh, that is fine, by the way. I don't really mind. But if you are, or if you're complaining about these things, the only way it's going to get better if is if you actually uh, sending games of your own. And, well, I mean, you cannot really complain about the level uh, that the uh, the level of display when you don't send in anything at all. Anyway, these uh, two are now going to pull these golems, and the golems are supposed to run after one champion first, and then after the next one, and you can attack them all the while without taking any damage. And in this case, yeah, they used up a little bit of mana, but they're still full health, so that's good. So now going for her damage first, which is excellent. It is quite a shame that she used her power cord there. Um, she shouldn't have. She shouldn't have charged up uh, twice on the fountain if you're going to do the golems. If you're going to do the double golems, the best thing to do is uh, charge up one Q on the fountain so that you get your mana back. You also get one stack on the, uh, the power cord. Then you do your second stack on the golems, and your third stack will be will coincide with your first attack on an enemy champion, and that will be a lot of damage because you get the uh, the damage from this uh, hymn of valor, as well as the damage from uh, your power cord, all at once on preferably the carry, of course. And that does a lot of damage, and that's why Sona is such a strong champion early game. I mean, there are of course uh, better champions early game, but yeah, she's a great support champion. She has a good heal, and yeah, she can stay alive pretty well. She also has a, has a movement speed buff, she has a slow, she has everything you can want in a support champion, and um, she can even do damage. So, excellent. And uh, Vayne, obviously, is um, I think the second best uh, AD carry that is around at this moment. And they are going to get the first kill here. No, no flash coming out. Oh, there goes the flash. And yes, there we go. And they are going to get this kill as well. And that's because of the damage boost that, um, that Sona gives. So that gives an enormous damage boost uh, early game, and if you can use it with a champion that is, um, well, that does damage on its own or has a good attack speed, then um, yeah, you get these kind of uh, really easy kills. Obviously, this was um, Alistar's mistake because Alistar was way too far forward, tried to get the Sona over here and then got stunned into the wall and even couldn't make it out even though well she was all uh, or he was all the way up to the wall but yeah he couldn't make it out because uh, yeah he could even uh, even though Vayne couldn't see him in the beginning that was my point so anyway the enemy's coming back and picking up two of the minions but that's not really worth it so the rest of the minions that were pushed into the turret are all gone. Their uh, their experience will never come back to uh, this Ezreal. 
Azrael who has 8 minions uh, versus the 25 of Vayne and that shows you how strong Vayne and Sona are and yeah well I guess the uh, Alistar yeah he picked up 2 there Sona has 1 from previously Anyway, Vayne has been uh, doing a good job, but really should focus on uh, on last hitting here. But at the moment it's no problem because there's no minion uh, dying yet. So the, the moment minions, get, uh, minions start dying, you should start uh, attacking them. And this is something you shouldn't do. You should never just auto-attack the minions. Because that way you will push the wave in the enemy direction, you will be able to get... Or the enemy will be able to, to gank you. You will be vulnerable to ganks. And that is generally not what you want. Also, you really want to hit them for the last HP only, because that way you won't push the lane as much. And Sona is uh, doing a good job of harassing here. Well, at least distracting the enemy team. She's not actually harassing because she isn't doing a whole lot of damage. And Alistar once again dying because she's way too far forward. That was a really, really quick kill. But it was definitely a very easy kill. So anyway, we are we are at 3-1-1 uh, one, one here uh, in the skills. Normally we see um, Condemn being leveled first. But in this case, uh, Tumble is leveled first. Tumble is normally more of a utility spell, so um, yeah, you you max it second basically. Wow, thing doing so much damage. So I'm not sure what kind of uh, runes she's using here, but it seems that if you have 113 attack damage with only two Dorn's blades, that is uh, that there's something in the runes that will actually amplify that. Because this amount of damage is really ridiculous. And so now taking a little bit of tower damage. Actually three tower shots, that's about 700 or 800 damage. I think 700. Not sure. No, she has 800 life, so she healed up for about 200. So I guess she took 600 damage from that at least. And um, yeah, that is a lot of unnecessary damage. Obviously this Alistar is really weak and um, yeah they wanted to go for the aggressive strategy and Sona should really stop using the uh, the heals on herself. Oh, she went for Tear of the Goddess first, whatever. So she doesn't have gold for her items uh, in the future because if you don't start off with Philosopher's Stone, um, yeah you're not going to have any gold. Because you don't have any income from the minions. And if you don't have income from the minions... Yeah, how are you going to afford things? So the only way to do that is to get the gold items. So the Philosopher's Stone, uh, Heart of Gold and uh, Cage's Lucky Pick. And that should make for some gold income. Ari coming in for a gank here, but uh, they did escape from uh, from the early damage at least. Uh, Alistar trying to do his best to get some damage done and get some distraction gone going, but uh, Fane just picking up a new uh, another kill here, a one for one trade, and that is definitely good for uh, well for a three man gank. So the with the three of them they could pick up one kill on the support while um, Vayne on his own could pick up the kill as well and Kellen is now coming in and he's following Ari around um, yeah because as if Ari is mid he should be mid as well and they are going to pick up this Ari quite easily and it is even <laughs> for uh, Vayne the kill that is amazing so yeah our Asriel is uh, getting out of there and he is safe for now. By the way this is played a few patches ago uh, before Zix and such and um, yeah Ari is uh, still very powerful here and I think yeah well she's still 
overpowered as she is today because people just started to learn how to play her and um, yeah she's kind of ridiculous now but Vayne normally is ridiculous in the late game not so much the early game uh, Sona boosts the power on Vayne quite a bit which means that she can actually oh and uh, Xin Zhao trying to come in for a gank but yeah that's not going anywhere because there's no one to support him here and I don't know what the Sona was doing all the way over there that was definitely not good and is Ramus actually going to drag out a kill here because I think so yes they are they are going to get two kills in fact because the true damage is going to be enough to finish off the Alistar no problem and yeah I think that was a little bit of a waste of uh, a ghost I think that was on um, on Ramus but anyway Fane uh, picking up 8 kills already out of the 12 and only 2 kills on the, uh, for the enemy team and both of them were Sona so nothing major uh, well nobody major died on this team yet no carry died, the jungler didn't die, uh, only the support died twice and by the way, why uh, people normally max uh, Condemn first, because Condemn gives you the greatest amount of damage. Plus, if it comes up quicker, so if the cooldown is reduced, it is in fact a lot better than when the cooldown on Tumble reduces. Because Tumble already has a very, very low cooldown, so you can normally use it quite well. Um, Silver Bolts is normally only, uh, well, one skill points uh, because it doesn't really matter you're uh, in the early game you have about yeah like she has now one attack per second and this is with the 25 percent attack speed boost so normally you're under one attack per second so the chances of you actually hitting someone three times in a fight are really low so that o that's only going to happen like once every fight maybe twice and um, yeah so that doesn't really add a lot of damage well in the late game the you, when your attack speed is super high when you have like two attacks a second you're going to have that a lot more in it plus well you have team fights so anyway the better build would be yeah and this Alistar really has no idea how to play Alistar which is kind of funny to see but it's also kind of annoying to see as a support player that people are so bad at what is considered to be a very easy role in the team although it really isn't I mean it is not an easy role and I'm not saying it's the hardest role in the team but you definitely have to be the most careful and you um, yeah you have to play it more like the Sona, Sona who is sacrificing herself I mean the second kill w uh, or her second death wasn't really necessary but they they took three kills out of that or no they got two kills out of that so it is still well worth it but you're basically sacrificing yourself for the team but what you need to realize is that well every time you, s you st sacrifice yourself your teammates have to be able to get a kill out of that so yeah, the it's it's kind of a yeah a harder role to play in my opinion than a carry, but a carry has to last hit. So I think AP carry is the uh, the easiest role on the team because AP carries can carry or can uh, farm with just their uh, their skills. They don't really need anything else. And Alistar is going to die once again. Didn't even need to use the uh, the ultimate from that. And yeah, just Alistar dying so many times, and he got a kill in between somewhere. Uh, I think at least. Yeah, he got a kill, and that's why he's worth money still. Uh, he went something like zero and three, or zero and four, and then uh, got a kill on someone. I think on this uh, this Sona. And now died twice or maybe no this is the third time in fact so he went 0-3 and then got a kill and then went 0-3 again and that means you're giving away way more gold than if you didn't get that kill and that's why it is better to sacrifice yourself for a kill on your carry 
then um, to do it like this and be greedy, get the kill and give away more gold. So here you saw, yeah, that it's not very useful to get this one because it levels up from 4 to 6 I think um, to eventually 8 so 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 I think is, is the leveling and we are now at 6% um, of the target's maximum health but yeah you're only going to trigger it once and if he had a little more damage on the condemn he would have easily gotten that kill Obviously it is true damage and true damage only applies in the late game when people have um, big amounts of armor. This uh, cloth armor isn't going to stop a whole lot of damage. You have to have a significant amount of armor for uh, the true damage to actually matter. And yeah, we are going to watch top lane for a bit because I think he's going to escape. I'm not actually sure. No, they're just going to tower dive in completely. And... Oh, wow! He is so tanky, man! Oh, man! That is crazy! I knew the turtle stance was really, really powerful, but... Yeah, you see Udyr's pulling this off all the time, so I should really <laughs> be surprised, but I'm always surprised when I see this, because Udyr, yeah, can take so much damage and just come out alive. And yeah, he uh, he had built quite tanky. I mean, the Spirit Visage and um, the Null Magic Mantle and the Rigor's Lantern all provide tankiness. But this one also uh, has the, the cooldown reduction, which is pretty good when you're uh, uh, when you're using the uh, turtle stance for defense. And obviously, I have no clue why he would build spirit visage because he doesn't really have any life steal yet. So, and I don't think any of his skills really give him life back. But I'm not actually sure, to be honest. So. It may be true, or it may be the case. And um, yeah, everyone is going to escape here. Well, they did lose one, but it's 20 to 5, so I guess it is not, uh, yeah, such an exciting game anymore. Yeah, <laughs> this was a really good focus. All three of them on the same guy, and Cannon is going to stun these two, and they are going to take down both of them. Because what's he going to do? Is he going to suicide now? Really? He thinks he can do that? Let's see, let, let's see if Ramos actually makes it. Nope. Oh wow, that was close, but... Unfortunately, no teleport coming out. It would be great if... Um, uh, hang on, the teleport on Udyr would have uh, gotten that kill. But it's okay. I mean, he's still dead, and um, that's all what all that counts. So Vayne getting an easy red buff here, and obviously does need to get these small minions, so otherwise red buff doesn't respawn. And yeah, they did have, I think, a ward up here, and Vayne is going to take down this Alistar if he's still there. And he is not still there. Oh, I think that was a clairvoyance. Yeah, I, he saw the clairvoyance and therefore ran out. So the Ramus is going to take out these two minions. Uh, which, yeah, I'm not sure. It, in this case, it is definitely better. And yeah, Vayne is going to come in from behind. Taunt going off. And there is the damage. 13 to 0 here, and um, yeah, it basically is completely over now. Because if you feed Vayne and she can uh, reach the end game much, much sooner, then you're just you're ju you're done. So Vayne <laughs> getting another kill on Alistar. Alistar, who's been completely useless all game, even though he is a very, very good champion. And 
I'm assuming that was an ace. No, Zinzao is actually still alive. Or no, 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 no. He was the one that actually died first. So yeah, he uh, respawned. So that was an ace. I don't know if they actually got all five of them down at the same time, but I don't really care. And they should just really push. If you're this far ahead, your AD carry is this farmed, then you should just push some turrets and until the enemy team is completely up, then you go heal. And yeah, basically you, you defend Baron, you don't take Baron. Because if you lose Baron to the enemy team, they might actually have a chance to, s to get back in the game. And at this point, there is no way they can get back in the game. So you place a ward exactly. And after that you just do nothing. You basically get all the uh, buffs. You get push all the lanes. And as you can see the lanes will push if you help them a little bit. So they are going to take down this turret. Or well part of this turret. And Alistar is now going to <laughs> do the jungle. Because he is just completely useless in this game and it's such a sad thing 1 and 7, 1 and 5, 1 and 7 0, 4 and <laughs> 2 and 5, come on yeah everyone has these games I guess but yeah it is good to see that Vayne is just yeah even though this is may not be the perfect skill order which is now, by the way, 5, 4, 1, and 2. Um, it is still fairly easy to farm with her and, um, and get a lot of kills. And they are going to take down this first turret, I think. Because Vayne is doing such a huge amount of damage. 1.5 attacks per second now. And 290 attack damage. And the surrender. So, obviously, a very easy game. Already knew it was a very quick game from the size of the replay file, but I wanted to do it anyway. So, well played. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you next time. GG.